A liquid exerts a pressure on objects submerged in it due to the weight of the liquid particles above it. So remember that pressure is force spread out over an area. So the water exerts a pressure on the ice cube as the weight of the water pushes the particles against it. So how does this pressure change as the ice cube sinks? Well, the deeper the object, the greater the pressure exerted on it. An ice cube at the bottom of a glass experiences more pressure from the water than an ice cube floating at the top. And this is because there is more liquid weighing down on it. So this ice cube experiences more pressure as there is more water above it. And the weight of the water pushes the surrounding water particles into it more. So how can we demonstrate this pressure difference? Well, we can demonstrate this varying pressure by cutting holes in a cylinder of water. The pressure the water enacts on the cylinder increases with depth. So when we cut holes in the cylinder, the pressure accelerates water out of the hole. The water is ejected from the cylinder with different trajectories simply because more pressure equals more force. So the water from the holes at the bottom of the cylinder will accelerate with more force. This is an experiment you may need to give an explanation for in an exam. Let's have a look at a time when particular care needs to be taken when dealing with water pressure. Divers need to be aware of how deep they dive and the pressure from the seawater above them. This is another example of the relation between pressure and depth that you may have to explain in an exam. Divers have to deal with high water pressures as there is a large amount of water above them weighing down. And this water pressure is highly dangerous. At a depth of just 10 metres, the pressure increases by one atmosphere, so it becomes double what we experience at sea level. So this obviously makes exploring ocean depths very difficult. In fact, people have explored more of the solar system than the Earth's oceans. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.